Welcome back to a new school year. This month's webinar is going to be about the digital resources available to you from ESU 8. These are not new resources, but they have some new features, and so I want to show those to you now. You can access these resources from the ESU 8 homepage, just www esu8.org. We're going to scroll down underneath the picture of our building to the DL and Media Resources. We're going to start by going to SNAP. If you do not know your username and password, check with your local librarian or you can call the ESU here. When you're in SNAP, if you search right here from the first search bar, you will be searching all of these products along with any tangible items we would have in our media center. But I want to go into two specific products today. So we're going to go right into Learn360. Learn360 is our video on demand or video streaming service that we provide to our schools. They have just recently updated their website and changed the look of things. You'll see this is new and if you know you're looking for video, I would start there. Um, they have some interactives, some printables, audio files only, and maps and flags. So I can go ahead and search right here if I'm looking for a topic. All right, here is a 48 minute video on the moon. So I'm going to look at that one. What I wanted to show you, one of the features they have is this program is broken into segments. I don't have to look through the whole 48 or show the whole 48. I can just choose a segment to show. Also, I can create my own custom segments using this scissors here. And I can assign this video to my students through Google Classroom if I use that. And working on also getting Canvas um, link up here too. But I have got this working that your students, if they're signed into your Google Classroom, they should not have to sign into Snap or Learn360. They should be able to access the videos. So I could just click here and assign it to one of my classes in Google Classroom, <clears throat> providing I'm logged in. Great features there. I also want to show you on the advanced search looks a little bit different. It's pretty well cleaned up. So you just have to click to continue finding what you're looking for. So I'm looking for videos. And if I look over here under all grades, they also have a professional development library. And so that might be something that we could use ourselves or administrators might use um, for their teachers. A lot of great features in Learn360. Learn 360, and I hope that you take advantage and use those videos. The nice thing is there is not the advertisement or the playback or the next video up that you get in YouTube, and everything has been vetted for educational purposes. The other feature I want to show you, or the other resource, is WorldBook. WorldBook has done some updating this summer also, their early learning, the world, early world of learning has changed. So when you go to it, it looks a little bit di different. They have taken out all flash, so it will work on an iPad. It doesn't have an app. You would have to access it through the, the, um, your browser, but you can make it a home screen app from the browser, and then it would just be a tap that the students would have to, to tap on. So the nice thing about 
the World Book Early Learning Butterfly. Everything is Eight. spoken that they hover over. And so Six if stories. I would Six go to the stories, stories. Count, counting with colorful food. And I push here. Julia is at the grocery store. What does she see? One red watermelon. So it reads to them and it highlights. I like that. I think it highlights too fast, but that's not a feature that I can change. So it'll read to them. There's activities. activities that go with it, games that go with it. There's nonfiction reading. There's stories. Um, At track learns about numbers. Under the educator tab or up here for grown-ups, it will give you more information. It'll tell you the skills that each book is working on and those kind of things. A big counting with colorful food. A couple other things um, that they have changed. The um, ebooks, they have added a greater selection to um, the ebooks module here. And I see that uh, the Spanish module has been updated too. From what I gather, the two Spanish modules are just your student and your advanced world book encyclopedia that can be um, accessed in Spanish. So those are just a couple of the features that um, are in our digital resource library. There's all of these others too if you're interested in them. If you have any questions or you would like someone to come out and show your teachers all the ins and outs of these digital resources, please let Molly Ashoff know at ESU8. And we would love to come and get your teachers using this.